morning. And now I'm standing before you preaching unchanged. I could not have an encounter with a train or with an incoming bomb and not be changed physically. In the same manner, you cannot have an encounter with the Lord Christ and not be changed spiritually. The scriptures say, not me, not my opinion, the scriptures say, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature, a creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things become new. Now you say you're a Christian and you boast in your sin. So who am I supposed to believe? You or God's word that stood this test of time? The saint used time-tested, absolute monarch of the books. And you mock at it. You boast in what you can regurgitate from the professor. You've lost the ability to think independently and to formulate your own opinion. You've, you've assumed from the start. You've assumed a priori that the Bible can have you on it. It's not my opinion, it's the Word of God. The Word of God. You've assumed a priori that this cannot be the Word of God. I know in God I don't judge you unless you repent your sins. What you, your, your behavior is the ultimate manifestation of the rebellion against God. You've rebelled against the nature, the natural order of God. If you can still repent, God can still save you, but if you love your sin more than you in hell. I'm not ashamed to say that. And you can't stop me from saying that. I have the freedom to say that. You're entitled to the truth. But I love Jesus Christ so much that I'll speak his truth. And I have to love him enough to say his truth. You can speak with their mouth and think they sound intelligent. Do you not listen to yourself? It's almost comical. It's almost comical. Yeah, that is, that's what's considered a hate crime here today. To let sinners go to hell without warning. But if, you, if I really have that much power over you, then I feel sorry for you. If I, a funny-looking guy in a hat on a box, have that much power over you, then you must be weak. Oh, come on. You don't know a hate crime, man. Have you ever been... Have you ever been beaten to a pulp and thrown in a jail cell for handing someone a, a Bible? I'll let God be the judge. Let God be true and every man a liar. How about that? Woo! Amen. God be true and every man a liar. Man, be going to hell. Man, have you ever been beaten to a pulp and thrown in a jail cell for handing Someone. I have. So don't tell me that you've not suffered at the, at the hands of hate. But I don't let that silence my voice. Well, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not happy if someone. I'm not happy if someone harms you. I'm not happy with the idea of you burning in hell for all eternity. I don't, that, that's fine. Maybe we just need to drink of water. I'm not happy with you burning in hell for all eternity. But I'm telling you, when the day comes and the day of salvation has run out, you've rejected Christ. You've said no to Him. You've, you've boasted in your sins. And you stand before God in judgment. And He condemns you by His eternal decree to hell. I will tell you what we will do. We will rise and applaud. Because God is righteous, Again, and what God does is right. Support these but that is not this day. You can be saved from that. You don't have to go to hell, friend. It's a free gift. Why would you reject a free gift that can pay off an infinite debt and choose to try and pay off that infinite debt on your own? That's ridiculous. That'd be like you owing $100,000 on a mortgage, and I would choose to give you $100,000 no strings attached, but you would choose to pay it off yourself. That's foolish. And so God demonstrates His love toward us. God commendeth His love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. However, God will judge the world of righteousness. The day is coming. The Lord will the the night. In which the hell is the
gospel. By God's grace, we're not tempted by those things. So what is your purpose? Our purpose is to preach deliverance from those things. Pray, preach, so you can be delivered. That's what you want. So I'm having to ask myself, am I wasting my time?